Yeah, see, that's why it always works out. <laughs> All right, your last but not least, I'm gonna put a little check. Um, and you actually made my words true, meaning, let me see, where are you? Ashley. Here we go. Because what did I say to you at the beginning of the semester? We started off rough because you all said a little absences and things, and you were like, Miss Newton, am I gonna make it? Yeah. And I said, your writing is strong, just hang in there and try not to have more absences. Was I not right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> For you, I learned about you, and I'm gonna start this different, that you're a strong writer. You just have to stay a little on topic, meaning you have a tendency to go a little off topic, but it's still about the topic, like it's odd with you. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you're, you love creativity, so look into creative writing as well, um, if you get to take an elective and you're interested in that. Okay. Because, so it's not like it's a bad thing <laughs> about what you do. It was just, I'm like, wait, Ashlyn, stay on top. And you can write. Like, when I say write, you write like five, six, seven, eight pages. I'm like, oh my gosh, what does this end for her? <laughs> Which, it doesn't. Right. And then you're like, oh, I realize this student, I need to take some things out. I'm like, okay. With you and your process, you tell me, what is your process? Uh, it's really just writing a rough draft and then going through rereading and then editing and then feeling where it feels comfortable. Most of it just glides out, so I sit down and I just write it. So do you know that means, again, what did I always instruct before you start writing the semester? The outline. I always put the outline to the side, but realistically, it doesn't benefit me. It kind of just, it's just a few things, and it's like, look, those few things, I stuff to break down, so I guess it's kind of where I just kind of am. No, and I'm pointing to you. I'm going to the debate, because you did that for the debate. You started with an outline. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. What happened? I'm asking for a reason. Uh, when I it was a good thing. Down. You Here's your debate content. Here's all of your content. You started with the things that I gave you. You broke it all down. You as a group and everybody else, you, you and Mr. Lars are really good on it. And you broke down everybody's portions. So somewhere that outline helps you. It did help. It, okay. it, it gave me a perspective of where to begin. And then when I, as I was writing, I realized it wasn't based off what we needed to do. I needed to restart the paragraph and then edit it and go as I went. Okay. Outline just you know, I think I was on the box this week. <laughs> yes, thank you outside the box. You were correct. I'm so glad you said that. I appreciate that. I'm an advocate of thinking outside the box. Let's go to your narrative because you were very honest. Ooh, why isn't that in there? Uh, ooh, ooh, that was not good, but okay. Hmm. Uh, what happened to your narrative? Uh, was it? I thought it was in there I that day. I haven't touched anything. <laughs> it was in there that day, right? Yeah. What? That's odd. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I can find it here. Because I remember before you left, it was in there, and I haven't touched anything either. I haven't been in my Google Docs since I left. Wow, let's see something. Cool. I don't like that. It was there, though. Okay, interesting. And we sent those to the deans in the chair. Oh, well, but we know it was in there. That's technology. All right, so with your narrative, then, you got a really personal and letting, a, letting me know anyway about your thought or what made you open up about that in your narrative? Um, I realistically don't speak about how I had Brooklyn, so it's nice to be able to talk about it without actually talking about it, because I'm a pretty private person, so it was nice to have a place to let it go. So nobody really knows like the process or the cost. My mom knows bits and pieces, but I'm still fairly pretty quiet about how I had her. So it was kind of nice just to be able to open it was. That's bothering me that it's not, it was there that day. That's yes. the reason why I had you share it. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. I feel uh, robbed. <laughs> yeah, me too, because I know it was in there. And I haven't touched it because I don't touch it. I'm not, you know, that's I've, not my thing. That's interesting. I've been a bad student since my last day. All right. I've been on campus. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. All right, for your descriptive, let's get into your descriptive. I'm all scared. Um, I think you talked about, yes. Lady, what is it, Patrice? I thought it was Beatrice, please. Beatrice? Beatrice. Okay, I said Beatrice. Uh, tomatoes model, maybe? Because I see Beatrice. Beatrice? See, you see how I'm saying it? It's like a French or some kind of yeah. other way. And then you said Beatrice. So, what made you write about or pick this picture for your descriptive? I don't know the pictures. 
Oh dear. Well, you did very well. <laughs> I was just trying to find something that had more, because everybody else kept going for like pretty bland things. But I knew I needed, I had to write, you know, five paragraphs about it. I needed something, with something to write about. And she had enough to make it pop. You did well. Thank you. You did well. What was the challenge about that? Or was there a challenge in this? Find the third thing to write about. Because, <laughs> <laughs> um, like, yeah, I could talk about the headpiece and stuff, but even it's pretty bland, too. So it was kind of difficult to find things to thoroughly write about, to have a lengthy enough paragraph to make it worthwhile. You did very well in describing, though. Very well. That was a strong aspect of um, your work. That narrative thing, I'm still like, I knew that was in there. I was going to open up my own. Because if not, we wouldn't have had you um, share it with the deans and the chair. If you still want to pop that in there, that would be great. But I knew it was in there, so yeah, that's just all. Yeah, we both did. Because then I, ch I, checked, yes. I checked sitting right here, which is the reason why I checked Like five technology. times before I left. <laughs> technology, that's okay. All right, let's get to your VA legend. I learned from you about, what is it, Dr. Robert Satcher Jr.? Yeah. Is that how you pronounce yeah. it? I never heard of him, and I learned from you, and I thank you, which is why I say instructors, professors, whoever teaches a class can learn from their students as well and need to be humble in saying so, and I'm saying so. I never knew of him. Then I didn't know he was a black or African-American man. I was like, oh my goodness, Very black too. history, black Virginia history, or African-American, some people like to say African-American, and I'm, I'm, I was amazed to know about him, and then he worked at Nassau, so that was before Katherine Johnson, right? Yeah. Doing the time work, right? Yeah. Which is why I like doing VA Legends as well, and then you utilize your tool, and you gave me subtitles or headings, and you didn't even have to do that, which is why I know you're, a, you're able to use your tools also. And you utilize them quite well. Um, so what would you like to say about this? I've, I've just complimented you. I have, it's up to you, though, what you would like I to say. I see EPA format. <laughs> it, was, it was by far the most difficult paper to write. I think that's just because all the citations. Um, I didn't make it past seventh period. So like for me to come into college, because I for a long to get my like GED for years because I was afraid of failing, um, then I decided to kind of grow up and go for my career, but in order to go for my career, I had to come here first. So this paper- From here, go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this paper was really rough. It was, it was easy to write, but it was hard to cite, if that makes sense. But I think I got the signing down now. Yeah, once I showed you the guy, it's just because at first you were going, <laughs> yeah. I was like, what are you doing? Then I took you back to AP format page, shows you electronic and how it's supposed to be in, like, and you were like, oh, okay, but you're good about, you came to tutoring a few times, but it was not like you really needed tutoring. I think you just wanted to be there sometimes, I feel. And it was more so for the debate and help out Ms. Dolores, which yeah. is me. Um, once I gave you feedback and tools, you were able to utilize that feedback and those tools. That's how I know. And everybody learns differently, that is correct. But you were able to actually, once I was like, no, Ashlyn, look, right here. People were like, oh, okay. You're like, oh, Miss Newton, oh, my goodness. <laughs> but you would implement it very well. Yes, ma'am. So I remember I said, if you go somewhere, you might need a writing sample. And that's good information to know. Yes, ma'am. I don't know. What is your major? What would you like to major in? Uh, right now, I'm majoring in criminal justice. Eventually, I want to go into homicide. It's okay. just getting there. I don't know. I know you see me talking. No, I do. <laughs> We're both going to end at the same yeah. time. No, um, that's a strong body of work. And it, again, it's very interesting to know about him. And I, I never know about him. So again, thank you. I don't know if you ever want to share that with anyone else, but if you need a writing sample to get into another college or indoor university, especially if it's here in Virginia, you can do that anywhere, from here go anywhere. You might want to look into, again, going through it again to make sure the English matches. Remember I told you, even people that are published still need sometimes revisions. Um, I even look at my own work and I go back and I'm like, oh my gosh, I turned that in. And I'm like, oh my God, I might have forgot it. And it's very rare, <laughs> but I'm human and right, everybody yeah. is human. So it happens. So go back through and read it again. Look at your format. Make sure it's correct since that is your first paper. Um, and make sure any citations are correct, but they look correct. But again, it doesn't hurt to look over it again, right, but also have someone else look at it. But if they ask you for a writing sample or an additional writing sample, I would submit that. Yes, Especially because of the field you want to go into. Just because you had to still research to get information, research is going to be big and what you would like to go into. Yes, so is there anything else you would like to me to know? You were fantastic, thank you. Oh, it was a really you. hard transition from this wood 
So and you were pretty stern. I think a lot of people didn't accept that, but I understood where it was coming from. I needed that. Okay. Yes, you did. You needed some structure. Um, and you were one of the first ones on Thanksgiving to finish. Like I said, I don't know why your narrative is not in there. Interesting. <laughs> I'm really shook. Yeah, me too. But um, and then you're the last of your portfolio interview. You can take the sign off the door if you want it, and I could always sign it. It might be. Go ahead and get it. It might be important one day. <laughs> also a hoarder. <laughs> might be important one day. Like uh, Miss Newton taught me. Hope about it. Tell me, doctor. But you're like she taught me. I love this dude. I do scrapbooks. I guarantee you my college uh, will be in a scrapbook. All right, hold on. I'm going to X out everything. And you can take that um, sign because I don't need it. Like I said, it might be worth something one day. And all these videos that we're uh, posting and linking, I'm still recording, by the way. But as I was trying to let you know, um, this is for you. It's a chakra bracelet. And that is the last one, as you are the last one. And because you came on Thanksgiving and you also finished on Thanksgiving. That's very pretty. Thank you, Sammy. You're welcome. All right, there you go. Thank you, ma'am. And I'll stop our recording at the same time. Anything you have for me? Yeah, go to 111. <laughs> yes, you will be. I'm having a challenge. No, you go to 111. Oh, you want me to teach 111? I would love to. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. Ugh.